Hey guys, what's up? It's me, The Kyle Chronicles, and I'm back yet again with another Smarter Sex Stuff episode. Um, in regards to this series, this will be the last video that I talk about birth control, as I have covered all the other types in previous videos. Um, you can find those in the Smarter Sex Stuff playlist I have made. Um, whew. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over three different kinds of birth control that I haven't already covered. I've covered the pill and the IUD. Um, again, those are in previous videos, so if you want to learn about those, go ahead and watch. Uh, but yeah, so the first one is Depo Provera. So it is given to you by injection every 12 weeks. Um, it is a progress progestin only birth control. Still have trouble saying that word. Um, it starts working within 24 hours of the first shot. If you had gotten it within five days of the beginning of your period. So, like, if you need a visual for that, I will try and find one to link in the description. But, again, like, talk to your doctor, they'll be able to explain it better to you. If you do get it after those initial five days, though, you will need to use a condom for the next week because it won't uh, take perfect effect yet. It is not good for those who have Cushing syndrome or who have abnormal vaginal bleeding. So if you have either of those, uh, don't take Depo Provera or if you still are thinking about it, discuss it with your doctor, healthcare professional. They'll be able to, you know, explain um, how it might work better with your body. And it may reduce or help treat endometriosis, which I know sucks. Um, so if you're looking to maybe help reduce the pain that comes along with that, look into Depo Provera. Um, as usual, further information on all these birth controls will be listed in the description box so that you guys can, you know, do a bit more research yourself. Uh, next we have the contraceptive patch. So it works on a 28 day cycle, which is four weeks. Um, it can be placed on your butt, your abdomen, uh, your upper body, not your breasts though or your outer arm, so like here. And you put a new one on every three weeks. So it's kind of like the birth control pill where you have the hormones for three weeks and a sugar pill for one week. So this one, you wear it for, you know, three weeks and then you don't have it for that last week. Um, if it is applied during the first 24 hours of your period, no other protection is needed. Although I would still recommend it because obviously birth control cannot protect you against STIs. And the third and final one I'm mentioning today is the Nuva Ring. It is 54 millimeters in diameter and 4 millimeters thick. I know that might not seem important to you guys, but I figured, hey, measurements are given, so I might as well pass that information on. Um, this is a combination hormone pill, so, or not pill, combination hormone birth control method. And so it uses pro progestin and estrogen. Um, it remains for three weeks and is removed during the seven days of your period. So same as that, you know, the patch and the pill, three weeks you have it, and that one week of your period you do not. And the Nuva Ring, you do not need a doctor to insert it for you like the intrauterine device does. This one you can do by yourself at home. Um, yeah, I know this was kind of a quick video, but I just wanted to make sure I had covered every birth control type. And uh, those were the only three I had left out. Um, I personally don't have any experience with those ones, so if you do, feel free to comment in the you know, the comment section to let other subscribers or viewers know. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. Um, I hope you have happy holidays because I won't be seeing you until then, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, next, next Smarter Sex Stuff will most likely be talking about STIs and STDs because I've told you how to protect yourself, so I might as well inform you on what you're actually protecting yourself from. Uh, so, bye!